Hello Taurus, I'm here to do your second half of November bi-weekly readings. Let us see what is going on for the bulls, the bull gang. Um, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Shot Down by Khalid. Um, good little song. I feel like you guys are feeling a little bit, as he says, shot down by love. Um, but I feel like there's somebody in particular you're dealing with and you really are still fighting for this connection because I think you see this person as the person you're meant to share your life with. So there's like this feeling of this person's kind of like things might not be going the way that you want them to with this person, but I still think you're, you're hanging in there. So let's get you know, more clarity through the cards and see what the cards have to say about this connection. Overall energy between you and another person in the next two weeks of November. Queen of Swords. Okay, so somebody's being very cold. Somebody's being very cold. They might have you, like, cut off. That could also mean that there's clarity coming. Uh, let's get a clarifier for this Queen of Swords. But I'm really feeling like this is the person you're dealing with being very cold. But we have the Queen of Wands here, too. So, hot and cold. This person's just hot and cold. Sometimes they're nice. Sometimes they're flirty. Sometimes they're, um, you know, you, it's just hot and cold. This person's very hot and cold to you. Um, and I think that's what's got you, like, frustrated is you just don't know how to read the situation. You don't know, like, how to how to proceed, like what to do. You can't get a read on this person, but you do really like this person. All right, so, um, and this could always be vice versa. It could be how they're feeling about you, but let's go ahead and see what the individual energies are. The devil, oy, oy, oy. Three of pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, obviously. Um, Interesting. So the devil's here. The devil's here. The devil can sometimes be toxic. Toxic behavior, codependency. You might have a codependency towards this relationship. Um, like you just can't let it go. It's like there's this bond there. There's this strong bond that keeps you tied to this person. Um, it doesn't even have to be codependent. It just maybe it feels like you can't really shake this person. So let's get a clarifier for that devil card. I feel like you could be getting a message from this person soon because, oh, the empress. So this is somebody who I feel like you see as your counterpart as you want to have this new beginning. You want it to be fruitful. You don't want to feel like you're, you know, you just don't want it to feel like this this devil energy, this could also mean that you have a lot of like lustful feelings towards this person, but I'm really thinking that devil energy is like this bond you feel to this person that like, it's like torn between that feeling of like, oh, I can't let go of that person, but also this is my person. Um, Three of Pentacles here in the mutual energy. It's like calling for a lot of patience between the two of you. And the Eight of Wands here in their energy makes me think that they're going to be coming forward pretty soon here. Pretty soon. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're coming in slow with an offer. It's kind of like, um, maybe you don't understand. Maybe you don't understand, but like the Three of Wands is here. Why does this person hold back? This person could be working on themselves right now. This person could be, and that they might need to isolate themselves in order to do so. They might be working on letting go, but I feel like this person's coming towards you. There could be some travel here, um, but this person's coming towards you, and the mutual energy is like there's a lot of patience there. There's a lot of like work. You guys could both be doing work for each other on work on uh, work on yourselves I don't know how to why that was so difficult to say um I feel like there needs to be communication here that is the main issue it's like neither one of you 
has the ability to communicate and it's like you're both holding back in this situation and you're both holding back that you have these feelings for one another that you feel bound to one another and you feel so that's kind of why this person gets hot and cold it's because they're kind of mirroring you Taurus so it's like they get frustrated too because they go they feel like you're hot and cold and that's why they're hot and cold is because sometimes you're in sometimes you're out and it's kind of just because you feel the same way about them it's like that sometimes they're in so it's kind of just a weird little inception type deal all right so the two of wands i feel that you're very focused on this person the judgment and the nine of pentacles if you're wondering if this person's single yes they're very single this person is the kind of person that doesn't really need anybody either so if they want to take the time to be with you know that they do want to be with you like I don't think you should question that and maybe that's something you question in the past the judgment card here and the thing is there could be a reunion reconciliation here in regards to the situation I do feel like communication is coming in for you bringing some clarity yeah the two of wands the wheel so I see you moving forward I see this connection being able to move forward. Maybe it hasn't for a while. This person has the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, the Hangman. Man. I really think this person's doing self-work right now and trying to get into a place where they feel happy and content. There's one who, that's turned over here. The Nine of Wands. Yeah. This person has been going through a tough time. They're trying to overcome something right now that I don't think has anything to do with you. And that might be why they have you at a distance because this person could also feel that you're too good for them. And they, even though you may see them as an equal, I feel like this person needs to get to a point where they have that self-worth and that is what they're working on. And when that happens, there will be a reunion. I almost see that maybe it's an unexpected one. Like you could run into this person. You could bump into this person. Because the universe does have a hand here in this situation. And with that wheel, it's like the universe is kind of going to push it forward when it's the right time. But I'm also saying that you have some work to do um, in releasing the past. Because you're... A lot of the reason why you act the way you act towards this person while you're hot and cold is because it triggers something, some kind of past issue that you need to let go of and focus on the future here. It's like there's a lot of teaching, teaching each other. You teach each other a lot. Because um, the high priestess here in the... Um, in the mutual energy is showing me this is kind of a very spiritual connection in the sense that it's part of your spiritual journey and a lot of what you need to do in order to find happiness in your overall life is you need to stop looking back dealing with regrets from the past you have to finally let that go you have to focus on the future and you've got the nine of cups here when you start focusing on the opportunities that are presented to you looking ahead instead of looking behind you're going to start becoming a lot happier so now this person is here as the world they're closing out a major chapter in their life they're closing out a major chapter in their life and that's why they're very distant right now um, but I don't see it being forever I don't see it being forever because I actually see them coming in and communicating quickly and bringing clarity but when they come in they're gonna have a lot more love to offer because they're going through this major major si end of a cycle end of a chapter in their life starting a new beginning um, and I think part of their new beginning is that they want to be able to be in a loving relationship, be in a loving commitment, be able to find that, to give that to somebody else. But first they have to give it to themselves. And I feel like this is what this person is working on right now. And that's why they might have you at an arm's length. Um, this is like a classic, if it's meant to be, it will be because I feel like you have this feeling like this is your person but you just have to be patient you have to be patient because the universe is working as long as the both of you are working the universe is working to bring that together so 
in the meantime, you have stuff you need to release and stuff you have to let go of in order to grow into this union. So, Taurus, that is what I'm seeing. In the extended, I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person is planning on taking, advice from spirit, as well as how to move forward, what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box, and I will see you guys there. Bye.